Welcome to Student Government Finance Training. This training is geared towards student organizations who are funded through student government or activity and service fees. It is also helpful for advisors of these organizations to understand student government finance policies so that they can assist students and decrease the amount of mistakes made. The activity and service fees are paid for by each student at the University of Florida on a per credit hour basis. ANS fees from student government, the J. Wayne Rights Union, and recreational sports. ANS fees are public funds and must be spent in accordance with state of Florida and student government regulations. ANS fees must be expended to benefit the student body. Student organizations must complete the CSA and I registration process and be registered at least a year before they can expend SG funds. All budgets are set a year in advance. The president and treasurer of the organization will be the one submitting the budget for the upcoming year. In order to do this, please see how to submit an SG budget proposal training found on the SG website. Budgets are heard in front of the budget committee of student senate. Once the budget is set and voted on by student senate, money can be accessed once the new fiscal year begins on July 1st. SG funding is a privilege and comes with responsibilities to the student body. SG funded organizations may not charge membership dues, fees, or charge any UF student to participate or attend an event. For example, no selling tickets. ANS fees cannot be used for the support of fundraising activities. Organizations may not expend ANS fees without the prior approval of the student body treasurer. To obtain approval, your organization must submit a student activity request to expend funds. In order to get approval, your organization must submit a student activity request through the DocuTrack electronic system preferred on SG website or in paper at the SAR room in 337 in the Rights Union. Student activity request forms must be received by SG Finance a minimum of 10 business days before the good or service requested is needed. Complete online how to fill out an SAR training and how to fill out a travel activity request training located on the SG Finance website. How to spend money correctly. People cannot receive personal benefit if they are the approving authority for that expenditure. SG Finance cannot reimburse or pay for an expenditure that does not have prior approval. Student activity requests must be submitted and approved before the individual makes a purchase. The payment responsibility will fall on the individual who made the unauthorized purchase for materials or services. Any violation shall be considered an offense against the student body per 800 codes. The most common mistakes include organizations forgetting they need the prior approval of the student body treasurer. Any question should be directed to the SG Finance Treasurer, treasurer at sg.ufl.edu, 352-273-4406, or in person in room 337 in the Rights Union. SG Finance can be your organization's bank account. External income is commonly re referred to as outside revenue, or OSR. This income consists of funds received from sources other than student government, for example, a car wash to raise funds for your organization. External income must be reported to the treasurer's office within 15 business days of receipt. The funds are put on deposit with the university in an account in the SG Finance office and available upon request using a student activity request. Outside revenue is not bound by the 800 codes with one exception. You may not ever buy alcohol for human consumption using money processed by SG Finance. Organizations receiving ANS fees are not allowed to have commercial bank accounts outside of student government. No ANS fees may be transferred into the outside revenue account. No ANS fees may be used to gain OSRV. For example, ANS fees may not be used to buy the materials for a car wash to raise money for your organization. This is very important. Checks may be deposited into SG Finance accounts 
but must be made payable to the University of Florida, not to your organization. If SG Finance pays the bill using ANS fees or OSRV, the transaction is tax exempt. If your organization or you pays the bill, it is not tax exempt. To ensure tax exemption for charges coming from Wrights or Emerson, confirmations may show tax. Please read confirmations. If confirmation has a tax, call vendor and get it removed. If you fail to ID yourself as SG, taxes will be applied. Failure to notify Wrights or Emerson Hall will result in taxes being paid as confirmation of reservation specifies. SG Finance cannot use ANS fees to pay taxes. Thus, any tax has to come from outside revenue. Remember, if you fail to challenge a tax or charge, you or your organization pays the taxes from outside revenue. What can I buy using SG Finance? Well, alcohol for human consumption, illicit materials, and as a reminder, student body treasurer approval is required prior to purchase of goods or services. Reimbursements. All receipts must be itemized and should be turned in within 30 days of date of purchase. All receipts for a given student activity request must be turned in at the same time. Original signature of the individual being reimbursed is required for reimbursement to take place. This means the person being reimbursed should be the person to bring the receipts to SG Finance. Only UF students can be reimbursed. No staff, faculty, advisor, etc. When to use a quote or bid to make a purchase. UF purchasing requires documented verbal quotes for materials or services that have competitive markets ranging from $1,000 to $5,000. The verbal quote is documented by an email from you to SG Finance. Please send this email to treasurer at sg.ufl.edu. Between $5,000 and $25,000, three written quotes on company letterheads are required. Lowest quoted vendor must be chosen unless there are extenuating circumstances as documented in the email. Cancellation fees. Please note the rights union has a cancellation policy regarding room reservations. SG's standing policy is not to pay cancellation fees using ANS funding. Instead, it must be paid from outside revenue. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Student Government Finance. J. Wayne Rights Union, Room 337, Mondays through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please avoid lunch hours from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. The phone number is 352-392-392. One six two three, and thank you for watching.